Module 3, Nonverbal Communication. The goal of this module is for the viewer to become conscious of the image portrayed through their body language. Did you know that 55% of a person's communication is nonverbal, and 38% of a person's communication is determined by their voice inflection? So 7% of a person's communication is actually verbal. 93% of a person's communication is nonverbal. That's huge. So how can we make sure our nonverbal communication is positive? Knowing what your body language is conveying will give you another tool in providing our patrons with excellent patron service. Since our actions speak louder than words, let's see what some of our postures are saying about us. When a patron is asking a question, leaning forward or into a person when they are speaking shows that you are interested in what they are saying and you are open to receiving their question. Just as leaning in shows you are interested in what they have to say, leaning away makes you appear defensive and uninterested. How your head is positioned also conveys a message. A small tilt of your head during a conversation displays interest in the topic of conversation. A prolonged head tilt demonstrates boredom. When you rest your head in your hand with your eyes looking down, you are also exhibiting boredom. When standing, be aware of your posture. Standing with your hands clasped behind your back makes you appear as though you want to remain closed off from others, that you do not want to be in contact with anyone. Other nonverbal cues to keep in mind include open palms indicate that you are open and sincere, tapping or drumming your fingers demonstrates impatience, and placing your hand to your cheek is a way to demonstrate that you are in thought. This is not a complete list of nonverbal cues. However, it will enable you to become more conscious of what your body language is communicating to our patrons when they approach you at the service desk.